Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank. And today we're going to bring a Blue Reese. Um, this is an ultrasonic whiting toothbrush. All right. So let's take a look at it and see what you get when you purchase something like this. So let's open it up. And the model is M10 Pro, just in case you need to know. Now, nothing fancy. It just tells you exactly how it vibrates in the back. Um, 3D modeling of the actual bristles. Uh, it, it's pretty good. It gets a lot of little sections that you're, that you're normal brush will not get so let's go ahead and take a look at it and open it up and see what you get look how nice and neat and packed it is in there and now now this is not battery um it does have a lithium batteries in here that are chargeable but they're not those double a batteries or or triple a batteries that, um basically you're gonna have to charge this stuff out of the box right so right now out of the box I'll give you a little casing now this is a plus if you're gonna be traveling this is how you're going to travel in style. Look at this. You put this in your briefcase, in your case, in your suitcase, and look at it. You're ready to go. And everything's nice and neat. We're going to take everything apart first. Let's go ahead and remove all this stuff. All right, let's take a look at the actual inside of the whole system itself. Now, they give you a couple of brushes. And when I mean a couple of brushes, they, they, they give you a lot of brushes for replacements. Uh, they give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight brushes. Now, Two of the brushes are, are different from the other ones, like these two right here. If you guys can notice, these two, let me show you guys. If, if you guys can see the top is a little different on this compared to the three dimensional ones. These are more flat ones. These are actually curved. If you guys can see the difference between these two. These, and, and then the next a little longer on this black one here. Uh, it, it's gray in the top, of course, and you'll see the orange, uh, the, the, the actual green on the middle. If you can see that two different brushes they give you um very different from each other um and then if you can side comparison one's flat ones that has a three-dimensional um cuts that they you see so they give you all these brushes and then they give you the charger itself and this is a nice little charger the case itself uh, um and let me put this on the side the case itself it's a big plus so the case if you guys notice the case they give you the two side-by-side -side brushes all right that's they, they, that's a plus right there two side by side but they give you the actual system here and if you close it out and if you turn it around this is actually drainage right here so this will be draining any fluids that you left over or any anything that that that's left on the brush um, uh, moisture it will drain out through the system the bottom if you get because this is gonna be flat, face flat uh, that's a plus that's a big plus so if you noticed here it is here's a little drainage that I was talking about and you can see right there that's a big plus right now I haven't I've not seen that in any of these builds right there but you have that little indentations in there um, a place to put your two two types of brushes so it depends on what you want to use it for all right here we have one that says clean white soft and massage and polish right so you got all these functions in here and then you got your actual charging station right at the bottom of it right uh it's a little bump in here that were plastic so it will moisture won't hit any other charging place um but nice and neat uh, i like this metallic thing here it's a metallic button you turn it on right now it's on clean white soft and you can hear the the noise of it and then the massage part and then the polish the polish is like it's like a rotation it feels like rotation but and then we close it out now the only thing is i don't see an indication of how much battery you have to be honest with you but this will last you a couple hours if you have fully charged uh i'm gonna put some of the description here if you guys can see uh that's the only thing no indication of of, of how much battery you have life all right so let's go ahead and set up one of the brushes in here and we're going to set up maybe just the 3d one first and um and, and it's basically you just you know just pretty mounted in there that's pretty much what you do this locks in and we got it locked it in now i'm going to see how well it works that's right now on on massage i have it on massage look at the you can see the look at the brushes you see the brushes that is crazy you probably can't even see them on camera how smooth they run look at that they, they're so fast that the camera can't even capture it that is crazy that's 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 massage right and then we go polish polish look at the polish one it feels weird just by touching it with the finger 
All right, we're gonna take a look at a three-dimensional model of tooth, if you guys can see it. These are actually with braces, all right? So we're gonna demonstrate if the toothbrush actually works for any kind of people that have um, braces, if you guys can see it, and see if how well it works if it goes underneath of it. So um, the instructions are very simple. You know, basically you gotta follow the instructions and you have to kind of line it up. I wanna see if they get stuck in here. So we're gonna try the Soften, all right. We're gonna do on soften if you guys can see a soft. I'm gonna put some little See how, if it gets stuck on the actual tooth on the actual braces And it seems like it's working. It's not capture. It's not getting captured. You can hear all the you can hear all the vibrations on it But it's not it's not getting stuck on the actual braces. This is perfect for people that are using braces If people are concerned about using braces, it's like they probably want to make sure that they have a toothpaste that doesn't not mess around with their their braces. And this looks like it's working. I put a little pressure and it stopped, but it seems like it's going. It's nothing, nothing's capturing. And you can see it right through it. And if you open your mouth and you do this part of it, it look how lined up. Look how see. I kind of if you stop it here, it stops in here. So you don't put any pressure there. And these are for people that have braces. This is perfect for you guys. You know, some, some of these systems compared to my old one, I'm gonna show you guys the two difference between this. This is my old one right here, right? And the brittles, they, they turn on this one, right? They're to pretty much gently go up and down and this one does not turn, but it's pretty much like, oh, it just wet me, <laughs> just to vibrate, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. Put a little bit of paste on the end. And we got a little paste. We're gonna try different molds. Right now we're gonna try one. We're gonna use um, a different mold. We're gonna try to um, use the polish foam. We're gonna use, actually, we're gonna use a massage mold. I want to. I kind of kind of like that one. So let's go ahead and do that. You know, after using this, it feels like um, it feels like my whole everything was like the the whole actual um, toothpaste actually was embedded in between different center pieces, and it feels like a lot of it was actually gone all the way to my gums, and, and I feel like I got more out of this one than the actual one that I own. Um, this one pretty much is just, you know, rubbing up and down the teeth, but they should, they should actually penetrate some of the gums and I could, I could actually feel it. My, my tooth feels like, um, like they still have some, some toothpaste in between some of the lining in there. So I kind of like that, that this is going where, where this is going. So I'm going to keep continuing cleaning it. All right. The only sensation I kind of feel a little weird that. Just feel give you a little numbing on it because it's like it's a vibrating into your teeth too also. Uh, another thing is when my tooth the top one hit the bottom of it, it felt a little weird. So you gotta be careful because you could fracture it too. It's like this is vibrating really quick. Uh, maybe you want to put it to a soft tone sometimes. Now, if you put your lip on it too, it might stop the vibration too and it stops the whole system itself too. It kind of has like a, a tolerance uh, mechanism and it kind of shuts down to where it doesn't have to go over it and it kind of shuts down and it locks it up. So you'll feel it once in a while stop is because there's um there's a tolerance differences on it. So just make sure that you're aware of those things. Um, the head's not coming off or anything, but I always keep checking on it because the other one I had does pop out a lot. Uh, it's all wet as it is. Uh, I think it is waterproof. It's it's keeping itself really good. I pretty much wet the whole thing itself. I uh, had one, two, a couple of uses already with it and feel very refreshing, very uh, different. 
Uh, haven't tried the other head yet, but that's my next step too. Maybe in a couple days, see how it goes. But I kind of like this three-dimensional one um, compared to the the two that I have. The this one that spins and this one that vibrates is a little different. I, I had this type of it before, but it's a lot stronger and it's a lot better too. So if you guys are interested, take a look at it. So if you guys like what you guys see, make sure you guys subscribe. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we're out.